Hello and welcome to Jessie at Home. Today I'm going to show you a few of the steps in my snowman centerpiece which is made with Kramer Yarns Naturally, Naturally Nazareth yarn uh, which is worsted weight and it comes in a hank so you have to put it into a ball or a cake. So let's just get started with this. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you the start and the increases and then I will come back and I will show you the decreases and as long as you know those you're pretty much good to go. So let's get started. To begin you chain four and you slip stitch into the first chain made in order to form a ring. So slip stitch into the first chain made to form a ring and then you're just going to single crochet into the ring and I'm actually going over top of the tail. That's very important that you catch the tail because you're going to use that tail by you're going to pull that tail tight and it's going to close the hole at the top of your snowman's head this way, okay? You can use a magic loop instead of doing the chain four and the slip stitching into the first chain made to form a loop. You can do a magic loop if you like. Um, I happen to prefer this method, so whatever floats your boat is just fine. So now we're going to place, make a single crochet, and then we're going to place a marker, and I am just using a scrap of yarn for a marker. Um, there are some really great removable stitch markers out there that you can use for crochet, um, and I do use them often, but in this case I'm just using a scrap of yarn. Now we're going to put seven more single crochets into this ring. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Oops. You notice the whole time I'm working over top of the ring and this um, tail of yarn. And seven. Okay, now I want to make sure the yarn is out of my way. Now, you do not chain, you do not join because we're going to be working in the, in um, a spiral. So next we're going to place the marker and two single crocheted each stitches a stitch around. So you want to remember where you're taking this marker away from. Okay, this is the only time that you have to do that. The rest of the times you're actually going to crochet into the marker before you move it. Um, but on this round you have to move the marker first. So you see we're actually skipping this. This was, um, we're skipping this and we're going to place two single crochet into this stitch here. So move that marker. Oop, I'm all stuck. Okay, move that marker and place two single crochet into that stitch. One, two, and you're going to keep going and the last time you put two single crochet it'll be into the mark stitch. One, Two. that marked stitch we're going to do two single crochets in there one and two now we're going to move the marker and we're going to single crochet into each stitch around okay, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you that I'm going to show you the um, the next increase round and then we're going to move on to the decreases. So we're just single crocheting in each stitch around here. The last stitch goes into the marked stitch. So this is the stitch with the marker, so that's the last stitch. And if you had been counting, that would have been 16. Okay, now we're going to place the marker again, so we remove it and replace it. We're going to two single crochet into the next stitch and then single crochet into the next stitch eight times, which will go all the way around. So the next stitch gets two single crochets, one, two, and then one. And then two, and then one. Two. one and one and this one is going into the marked stitch so you know you've gone all the way around okay so you're going to keep on following your directions there'll be some more um, the next round is going to be 
single crochet evenly around then another increase round and you're going to keep going with that for a while till it's to the right size then you're going to do a few um, just single crochet around rounds and then we're going to do some decreases so I'll come back and I'll show you the decreases the one thing I do want to show you um, is when you're ready to weave in your ends okay you see how it looks a little funky right now don't worry about that you're just going to pull this nice and tight and it'll tighten that up and then you can weave in this end in the back okay and this is actually a really good point to do that before um, everything gets uh, decreases you really want to do your weave in this end before you start your decreases because that way you can actually get to it all right so I will come back and I will show you decreases okay and we're back and we're ready to do the decreases and all the decrease rounds are going to be very similar for this decrease round we're going to single crochet two together well first we're going to place the marker then we're going to single crochet two together single crochet in the next four stitches and repeat that all the way around eight times so first we place the marker I'm going to single crochet two together which is just going into the next stitch yarn over pull through just like you're making a single crochet but then instead of finishing it you go into the next stitch then yarn over pull through and now you have three loops on your hook and you yarn over and you pull through all three of them and that's single crochet two together and now we're going to single crochet into the next two stitches sorry four stitches one two three four and then single crochet two together again And then single crochet into the next four. One, two, three, four. Single crochet two together again. Single crochet in the next four. One, two, three, and you're just going to continue that all the way around until you place your last stitch will be in the marked stitch and then you're going to continue with the pattern and now you know how to do the increase rounds you know how to do the decrease rounds you can make the snowman everything will be good right so I hope this helped you out and I hope you enjoy your snowman with Kramer yarns and Jesse at home thank you